How's it everyone? This is Lokahol, and in today's video we're going to be crafting a Hexblast Minor Wand for our friend, Seraconda. He's provided all of this for us. Now the modifiers we're looking for are plus one level of all spell skill gems, plus one level of all chaos spell skill gems, spell damage, and then either crit chance to spells or critical strike chance, and then crit multi, and then trap mind throwing speed, not trap throwing speed. So let's have a look at this. The first thing we need to do is get the prefixes. So how do we get a plus one all and plus one chaos and spell damage? It probably seems hard. However, our friend Keto pointed out something very interesting. So let's just have a quick look over here at Craft of Exile. So if we have an item level of only 82 and we use the fossil combination corroded, shuddering and metallic, the only prefixes that can roll are plus one all, plus one chaos, and spell damage. So if the item does roll with three prefixes, these will be the three prefixes. If the item level is higher and you get something like this, well, then you start seeing more things coming in and then the chance of hitting these three mods becomes harder. Another question you might have is, why is normal crit chance good on this wand? It's because a lot of these builds are using Sandstorm Visage. Base spell critical strike chance is equal to that of main hand weapon. So if our main hand weapon has higher base crit, it's better. This one has 8% base crit. If we get more crit on it, just normal critical strike chance is actually good for Hex Blast Mine. Now let's get started. So first thing we need to do, we're going to try and quality up our first guy. Actually, which one of these is better? This one's better. We want to try to get this to at least 28% quality. So we're going to do that like this. 17, 16, 19, 29. That's fine. A bit annoying, actually. And then what we need to do is try and get that plus two on this. So we're going to use that fossil combination I mentioned before. Shuddering, corroded, and metallic. Let's see if we can get it. First one. We got it on the first one. Okay. However, this is now a full item and that's not good. So we have to go for the anul. The chance to hit these three modifiers on an item level 82 base or lower is one in 12. And that's with the lowest tier of spell damage. So this, we need to go for a null, please. We did, we succeeded. Now there's a couple of things we can do. Firstly, we can lock prefixes and then scour and then lock prefixes and ashling or i think what we can do probably a little bit more affordable is to use a veiled chaos i think yes i have seven so we're going to go over to our crafting bench we're going to go prefixes cannot be changed this costs two divines prefixes cannot be changed veiled chaos now this is going to reroll the suffixes because we've locked our prefixes. It's going to reroll the suffixes. It might fill up the suffixes. What we're hoping to see is just one veiled modifier like that. Perfect. Now, before we go to Jun to unveil, we want to block the modifier with the highest weight. That's going to be damage per charge. So damage per power charge, damage per frenzy charge, damage per endurance charge. We're going to block that. We're going to head over to Jun who is hiding over here. And now we're hoping to unveil, I think crit multi. Can we get crit chance and spell crit? If we can get both, that'd be great. We can. So we're gonna go for this. And now you can see our base critical strike chance, if you look at this at the item is 10.32%. That's why Sandstorm Visage is so good. And then we're gonna go mine throwing speed. Mind throwing speed. Here we go. This was too quick. This was actually too quick. I think we need to craft that other one as well, but let's give this a little bit of a price check. So we have our base crit. This is actually relevant, the base crit. And then we can go spell damage and spell, spell, trap throwing speed. Let's see, 54, 12 divine, 15 divine. What if we throw on crit chance for spells? 32 divine, 35 divine. Okay, so we did get lucky. However, this is I'm an ex-profit craft. So this is 
This one was very lucky. This is tons of profit. I'm going to put on screen now the price that Ketso spent for everything so you can see how much everything costs. Check it out. It's there now. All right, let's make another one. Let's make another one. That one was way too quick. Okay, 19%, 19%, 23%, 23%, 22%, 26%, 25%, 29%. Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. So we're going to go. Metallic, corroded, shuddering. Okay. That's oh, not working. Plus one chaos and spell damage. So, yep. This one. I bet you this one's going to be evil to us. Nope. So now it's not actually hitting prefixes. There we go. Two prefixes. Let's try more. Aha. We have it. Again, we're going to have to go for the Anul, though. So, Anul, and we lost the plus one all. Have to keep trying. Might have to fill up a few more resonators. This one, again, we have to go for that Anul, and we've succeeded. I say we go for another, another prefix lock, Veiled Chaos. I think if we had, if we had, like, tier one spell damage, we could go for an Ashling, but... Actually, I don't think we can hit tier one. I think we can hit tier two spell damage on this. But prefixes cannot be changed. Two divines. Veiled chaos. There we go. And we're going to, again, block power charges. Damage per power charge. Take it over to Jern. We're going to unveil this guy. And again, we have this crit. Crit strike chance. Nice. And we're going to do this crafting bench and mine throwing speed. All right. Let's get that to 15%. Beautiful. And this one going to be similarly valuable. We have our base crit at about 10%. Crit, spell damage, 1-1, one, one, that. 30 divines. Oh my goodness. I... This is like actually one of the most insane profit crafts in this video is going to kill it. Sorry. Well, one last thing we do need to do is we need to enchant this guy. The reason we wanted to get quality on this is we're going to get... Crit per quality, critical quality. So, oh, I nearly did that. We want to do this. It costs 5,000. That's about half a divine. 1% crit chance per four quality. Here we go. And now this thing has almost 11 base crit. This is so good with Sandstorm Visage. Same with this one. We're going to do it. 10.88. So, here are our ones. They are probably both going to sell for about 30 divines if they sell before this video comes out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. There will be more crafting videos coming soon. So stay tuned. Also, reach out to me if you do want to do a craft. Maybe we can work something out. It's always fun doing these with viewers. So have a wonderful day. Thank you to Sarah Conda for this. Take care and I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.